All right, today we just got a new update on Tesla full self-driving. We're on 12.3.3. Let's see if there's any big difference. Doing a shorter drive today. Just want to put it through its paces. We got a few multi-lane roundabouts, highway entry and exit. Let's see how it goes. It's a nice aggressive move in front of the pickup truck, just what I would have done. Oh shoot, I thought it was going to go that way. <laughs> this is actually the quicker way for our destination, but let's see how it goes. All right, we are back. Trying this again to bring us on some tough roundabouts. Let's see if we can get on the highway here. Approaching our first roundabout here, we've got two lanes, so we want to make sure it's hanging out in the right lane here, which is correct. We should be pushing through not waiting for this car and no problem again. As a reminder, full self-driving 11 really did not do a good job with roundabouts. It's moving a little bit slowly as we approach this entryway, so I'm giving it some accelerator. And now it's ramping up with no more need to touch the accelerator. Although we have a speed limit of 75, I would be ramping up a little bit more quickly here, accelerating onto the highway. No one's behind me, so I'll let it go and see. Yeah, it's kind of slowly getting up to a max of 85 now, which is correct. Okay, we're back, about to get off the highway here. We got a couple of roundabouts, uh, one after the other, so it'll be a nice little test for our self-driving here. As always, the vehicle will tell me that it's choosing the right fork, which is a nice addition. Going a little below the speed limit here, but not a big deal as we're approaching this roundabout. And no problem again. Here we're kind of drifting over this lane marker, which is not great, but I'm not seeing a need for disengagement yet. I like how the car really starts moving even before the ram has uh, passed us. So, very human-like behavior here. And we're approaching one final roundabout for this drive. No need to wait here. Not waiting for this car either. So there you had it. Three multi-lane roundabouts in a row, zero disengagements. I think maybe we drifted over a little bit on some of them. I'm curious what you think in the comments. Were those roundabouts done well, human-like? Could it have been better? I don't know, I thought it was pretty good. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you for watching. More full self-driving videos to come and see you on the next one.